the head coach of the Frankfurt Galaxy, Dick Curl, moments ago to his football team on the importance of tonight's game. This one means something. This one means something. We got a chance to knock them out. We got a chance to put them away. We got a chance to put ourselves right where we want to be. It is no fun losing. It is no fun losing. You don't play this game to lose. You play this game to win and get after people. Now, it's going to take every one of us for the whole time with our heads in it, doing the little things right. As long as we do that, we're going to be in good shape. Big time players step up into big games. Big game. Let's find out if we got the big time player. I'm sure we got him. Yeah, right. Let's go get him. Ready to kick somebody's hand? Yeah. Yeah. Two things about that Dick Curl speech right there. He said we can knock him out. They can knock Scotland out. You know, really of the World Bowl birth right here. They, in a tiebreaker, they would win the tiebreaker with Scotland because they've already beat them. And then I think he's talking about big players stepping up in a big game, and that's what this is tonight. But then anytime here at Bald Stadion, it's a big game. Rob Hart to kick off for the Claymores. Frankfurt won the toss. The bounce to Andy McCullough. Spun down at the 26-yard line. And Frankfurt will open on offense three weeks after staging a wild shootout. And it was Pat Barnes on allocation from the Oakland Raiders who scored the game-winning touchdown in overtime. Well, they don't normally start Pat Barnes in this two-quarterback rotation because Pat is like Brent Favre. He comes out too geeked up for the game. And sometimes they have to settle him down. But tonight they thought, you know, let's just change things up. We want to spark tonight. They're going to start Barnes to do that. Jermaine Cheney on first down, bouncing, gets away from Elams, and is dragged down by Steve Roscoe. Up front for the Galaxy, tackle to tackle, Jay Haygood with a sore left shoulder, Finn from the Broncos, Juan Porter over the football, Cyphers the Saint, Todd Stewart in the Carolina Panthers. Cheney carrying. On first down, McCullough from the Cardinals, Mario Bailey, Scales from Pittsburgh, Ron Lashinsky, the tight end from the New Orleans Saints. And this offensive line finished last week with only five healthy players. They had the injury plague uh, so far in the first half of the season. Barnes rolling. Throwing deep. A collision at the 30-yard line intended for scales and double coverage. No flag is thrown, and it's third down. Defensively, up front for the Claymores. Tom Tobo, his native flag of England in front of him. Palmer from Chicago. Keeney starts on a sore left leg. Shatoni Sargent on the outside. Campos, Finkus, and Terry Rice Loggett, his first start of the season. And this quartet, Mosley, Wiggins, Raska, and Elams from Seattle. And that secondary has been hit with 15 touchdown passes this year, but it starts up front with the pressure, and they haven't been able to get it. On third down, Barnes to the far boundary. That's caught for a first down. The league's all-time leading receiver, Mario Bailey, in his fifth year, makes the clutch catch. Well, Mario, you know, here, here's the matchup out here with Joey Elams. And Mario's going to go up against press coverage. Now, Elams has been beat for touchdowns against this team twice in the last game. That's a nice comeback by Bailey. Not much room there to get that ball in. Barnes stayed in the pocket and delivered a strike. Bailey's numbers continue to swell. And Jermaine Cheney finds a bit of a gap on the right side. Jermaine Cheney has been the workhorse back for this Galaxy attack through the first half of the season. Well, you know, it was Scotland's defense here today to come in and shut down the running attack of Frankfurt. It was the number one priority. They want to make this a one-dimensional game and make these quarterbacks put the ball in the air. Cheney has done a nice job averaging 3.8 yards a carry and keeping some balance in this offense. On second down, Barnes 
complete. Very tough catch made by Andy McCullough, who leads NFL Europe in receding yardage, and there you can see why. Well, McCullough's going to come across the middle, and I said at the open that he has a big body, and he's learning how to use that body. Put the body between him and the defender so that the defender, Joey Elam's on that play, has no chance of being able to strip it. And that's what the trend in the NFL is to big bodies. Guys like Chris Carter and Randy Moss using big bodies. Flags, movement prior to the snap. Our referee this evening, Ron Winter from the National Football League there in the white hat. Encroachment. Number 93 of the defense. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. The keys for Dick Curl in this game tonight. Well, he said, you know, let's score touchdowns instead of field goals. You know, and then they want to keep the ball away from Damian Craig in a high powered offense of the Scottish Claymores, who lead the league in points this year. His offense moving the ball. This will be the sixth play of the opening drive for Pat Barnes, one of two quarterbacks we will see this evening right, right. for Frankfurt, alternating with Jake DeLome. They'll both play about a half. Set. Blue 20. Run, run. Blue 20. Hit. Hit. Approachment a moment ago on Emil Palmer, and he may have done it again. Contact prior to the snap. Well, I had the mics open up right there, and you can hear the hard count by Pat Barnes. Unrhythmic count and getting Palmer, who right now is jittery for this open. Coachman, number 93 of the defense, five yard penalty, the results in a first down. Now, there's a lot of things to contend with out here. You now, listen to Barnes right here with the unrhythmic count. First down off the penalty. The march continues inside the 30. Mark Kaczmarinski, his first carry of the evening, the change of pace back. As he pounds away at the Scottish Claymores, coached by Jim Kreiner. And he said tonight, he said, we've got to stop the run. If they get balanced on offense, it really puts us uh, at ill at ease. And then offensively, we need to score early because this whole team takes their cue from the offense. The defense gets much more confident when they see points on the board for themselves. His offense is yet to see the ball. Barnes a long time at the line of scrimmage. Throws into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Andy McCullough. McCullough's fifth touchdown catch of the season against the worst pass defense in the league and a team that has been shaken, sitting back on their heels and not very confident. Pat Barnes goes up top. Ralph Kleiman to add the extra point. Frankfurt takes the opening kickoff, drives the length of the field. Pat Barnes to McCullough for the touchdown. It's 7-0, Galaxy. Eddie McCullough, who enjoyed a career day against the Scottish Claymores in the first meeting, finds the end zone for the first time tonight. 23-yard connection with Pat Barnes. And I like Andy McCullough. You know, I mean, a big receiver, 6'3", and closing that nice opening drive with a 23-yard touchdown catch. Like I said, fifth touchdown catch of the season. And when you put him one-on-one -on -one out there, it's jump ball. And he goes against Joey Elams, and nice timing on the pass by Pat Barnes. But I like McCullough. You know, he's got good hands. He came over here, and he wanted to work on his route running this year from the Arizona Cardinals, and he wanted to work on his blocking. You know, and when he's not catching passes, he's got a trio of other receivers that do, and he has to get downfield and open up lanes for him. Ralph Kleidman 
With a short kickoff, Jesse Haynes from his 16. Down he goes. That's Yo Murphy. And much on the special teams tackle. Well, you see now the Claymores here, they go a shift. They put Finks in the middle, they put Campos outside. But Pat Barnes sees the blitz, and he tells Kat Grinsky to come over and pick it up and allowed one-on-one -on, -one on the outside here. Nice vision by Barnes. You can see him point now to Campos coming on the outside. He dictates the pass protection, and he got just what he wanted. A six-foot-three McCullough going against Joey Elams. And result is a nice touchdown in the corner. Yeah, Barnes almost looks like routine. He just uh, congratulated Katz on the nice pickup. The Claymores on offense for the first time. Craig bootlegging and dumping to Jamie Reader. Reader breaking free at midfield. To the 34-yard line. The fullback in Jamie Reader on allocation from the Miami Dolphins goes 40 yards on the first play for the Claymores. And Damian Craig is an athlete now. Nice play action pass right here. He gets away from Holscher. Haven't seen him bootleg to his left yet this year. First time ever, and they catch Frankfurt off bounds. Johnny Munch from behind, along with Clarence Love from the other side of the field. Saved that touchdown. Sellers inside the 20. In front of the corner, Clarence Love. Damian Craig opening with a bang tonight here in the home of the Galaxy, and as you can see, assigned to Europe by the Carolina Panthers. The interesting thing about Damian Craig, he was with the Carolina Panthers last year, never took any snaps at quarterback during the season, was a wide receiver, thus this league is valuable for him to get those reps he didn't get during the season. Two snaps, two first downs. Jesse Haynes roughed up and pushed back by Jimmy Clements, the linebacker. The offensive front for Scotland, Stokes for Miami, Dice at a Raven. Satella used to play for Chicago, Hernandez there now. Barry Sims out of the University of Utah. In the backfield, Haynes, reader the big play catch, Yo Murphy, Scott Cooper, native of Scotland, and Sean Bell from the San Francisco 49ers. Sellers in motion. Craig with time connects again. Ooh. Murphy to the nine yard line. Clemens polishing him off up front for the Galaxy tonight. A defense that's been pushed back here on Scotland's first possession. Greg, David Holscher from the Skins, Brown and Kendrick Goldston up front. Munch, Stry, and Jimmy Clemens. And in the secondary, Clarence Love, who just arrived. This is Vol Stadium debut. He's from Philadelphia. Reed, Gilliard, and Alonzo Hampton. On, Off the left side, Haynes right, to the five-yard line. This is more offense out of the Scottish Claymores than they were able to produce almost the entire night a week ago in an embarrassing loss to the Ryan Fire. Yeah, well, talking to Jim Kreiner yesterday, he said, you know, we just weren't ready to coach, play football. Coach. Not just last Saturday in Dusseldorf. We weren't ready to play the whole week. Bad week of practice. And he said, this has been the way this team has gone. They played two great games and a bad game. And he hopes that they get rid of that track starting tonight. A two-back set. Now Haynes on the wing. In the corner, Sellers. Touchdown. Exactly what the Claymores needed tonight to answer Frankfurt's opening drive and to keep some confidence in his team. And the league's leading receiver makes a beautiful catch on an audible call from Damian Craig. One-on-one -on, -one on the outside against Clarence Love, making his first start for the Galaxy on the fingertips inside the pylon. Beautiful. Barefooted Rob Hart. The Scotsman. Tizes at seven aside. It was wild the first time these two teams played. Both offenses with a touchdown early in Frankfurt.
Curl thought that he could put pressure on Damian Craig by bringing a linebacker into his face. Here comes Jimmy Clements. It gets well picked up, and it left one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. And Damian Craig is going to the fade route all the way. Perfect pass to Sellers, and nice reaction by D.C. hitting his favorite target. Sean Scales. Damian Craig hurling his 10th touchdown pass of the season, finding Sellers. Yeah, these two, they just make audible calls just by signals. You know, they're so connected. Sit next to each other on the bench, and they're pumped up. See, they can't even sit down right now. They want to get up and cheer the defense on. Because last week, they were embarrassed, and they stunk the place up in Dusseldorf. They've had seven <laughs> days to think about it. Catch Marinsky, a lone setback. Barnes finds Mario Bailey playing tonight, suffering from the flu. He has been ill throughout the week. But gives it a go tonight, and with every catch and every yard he gains, continues to expand his all-time NFL Europe records. Yeah, with the flu, and was in bed on Wednesday and Thursday when we were out there at practice. Well, what did he, you know, Dick Curl said, just stay home, Mario. Stay off your feet. You know how to play the game. Just plugs himself in on Saturday night. Barnes eludes the pressure. Throws, Wiggins made the catch, and it's ruled an interception. He got his feet down. Lee Wiggins with his first interception of the season. Gonna get good pressure here on Pat Barnes from the outside. It's gonna force him to step up. Now, he's very elusive, and he's able to step away from it. There's Shatoni Sarge has got one hand around him. Emil Palmer at his, at his shoestrings. And Dick Curl right now is saying to himself, just throw the ball away. Come back to sec second or third down and then make the play. From the 42, Craig. Flush, dumps to Haynes. Haynes takes off. Jesse Haynes to the Frankfurt 40-yard line. John Munch on the tackle. Well, Pat Barnes just threw his fifth interception, and, you know, I, it's just a, a competitive guy trying to make a play in the grasp of Tom Tobo. Nobody more upset or disappointed with that play than himself. Black 25. Black 25. Kevin Drake started in motion. And now Jamie Reeder pounds the inside. This is the only team of the six in NFL Europe that uses a two-back set. Yeah, and so Jamie Reeder is the only fullback, pure fullback in this league. He doesn't get a chance to carry the ball very much. He's a very good blocker from the backfield from the Miami Dolphins. And when he does get his chance to carry it and catch it out of the backfield like he did the play before, it's a good feeling. On second down, Craig, his hot first quarter continues. The tight end, Sean Bell, rambles inside the 20-yard line. Well, you know, they have a multiple offensive front. They can go two backs and a tight end, one wide receiver. They also can go two wide receivers and a tight end. That's what they did with Sean Bell there. And look at him, look at him next to, right here next to Kreiner. I mean, he's a big target at six foot six. You know, easy guy to find coming across the middle of the field. A gain of 18. Yo Murphy to the 10 yard line. Wolf. Inside the 10. Murphy last week became the all-time leading receiver in the history of this Claymore franchise. There he gains a dozen. Uh, Yo Murphy is going to be coming across the field. That's Donald Sellers clearing things out. Now the scramble's on. Nobody can go asleep. Watch Donald Sellers come back and help out Yo Murphy. 
and put a crushing block on the middle linebacker, Derek Stry. Stry sure doesn't know where he's at right now. Well, swing it out to Ben Snell. There you go, Ben. And Snell fights his way down to the six yard line. On allocation from the Baltimore Ravens. You know, we, we saw that block from Donald Sellers, and you know, he, he's the guy that was a quarterback at New Mexico. The Rams converted him to wide receiver. One of the things that wide receivers have to do in the NFL is they got a block. And that last block to free up Joe Murphy for extra yards is something that will catch Dick Vermeil's eye with the Rams. Second and goal. Craig feels the pressure. Back to the five, and he oh, takes so a solid so hit. Damian Craig has the ability to run the football. He is second on this club in rushing yards, and as you can see, he's perfect in the early going tonight through the air. Yeah, ultra focused tonight. He wasn't happy with his performance last week. And he just he couldn't make a play. He tried too hard to make plays and threw some door things snowballed and wanted to make amends here tonight. And I think he's a good player with a good future in the NFL. Third and goal. For the end zone. He did not get in. Belted at the one yard line by Whit Marshall. A touchdown saving tackle. Now the ball has got to cross the goal line. Certainly Damian Craig's foot does. Black 35! Ah! <laughs> kind of like what a Mack truck does. Scotland. It's fourth and goal. Third Scotland first. has called timeout. Second timeout. I think they called timeout more or less just to see how Damian Craig is. Okay. All right. Hey, that's my fault. Come on. Yeah. Okay. We got Raiders. Huh? Huh? Okay. Hey, please reach out. We're going to put the way right. They're jumping outside. Please reach out. Rip. 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 This is fourth down right here. This is a huge play for both sides right now. No signal yet. His right foot slipped when he was trying to get position to go forward. It's Mark Shy of the goal line and the Galaxy have held. Not much push up front from Emmett Satelli and the right guard Adam Hernandez, where he tried to go. Watch his right foot as he tries to get some leverage right here. It, slip, it slips right there. Not able to dig into the grass and get some leverage. Please reset the game clock to 150. So the Galaxy take over. One, Big five, touchdown, zero, saving hit. The Jar Craig following an eight-play march. Please reset the game clock to one minute, 50 seconds. And uh, Pat Barnes will have to move his team off the goal line. It be about 99 plus yards. The ball, here it is. These guys have got to get up on the line of scrimmage here. You know, you got uh, the right tackle, Barry Sims, the tight end, Sean Bell. Look at the, the distance right here that the Frankfurt Galaxy get to come and push on. Cheney, a sneak of his own. You get it off the goal line. 
Tony Watkins coming up in the secondary. You know, now Pat Barnes has come in and, you know, he threw his fifth touchdown, or fifth, fifth interception in the last series. And I think that because this team rotates quarterbacks, that when Barnes gets his quarter of play, they try to press too hard. And I think DeLone gets in there and he tries to press too hard. And the result is nine interceptions so far this season, the most in NFL Europe. Motion, but Juan Porter, the center, didn't snap the football. Now the flag. That's not going to be much of a penalty. <laughs> Half the distance. Inches. Prior to the snap, ball start, number 70 of the offense. Penalized half the distance to the goal. Remain second down. That's yeah, Dan Finn, the left guard. And one thing you notice about Finn, anywhere Finn goes, that's where Barn goes. You know, and I always like quarterbacks that hang out with his offensive lineman. You know, they're kind of like joined at the hip off the field. Watch where they mark this, how close it is. Half the distance to the goal. Well, they'll put it down on the one-yard line. A key series for the defense here to try and knock Frankfurt out in three plays and get the ball back to the offense in good field position. He comes, we're hot. Set, blue 20. Blue 20 hit. Barnes from his own end zone. Connects to Todd Floyd. They get it out to the five-yard line. Looking on this evening in the black leather jacket, Jamal Anderson of the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, Jamal's going to join us in the second quarter. A little color commentary from Jamal, the NFC's leading rusher last year with the Atlanta Falcons. And I saw him doing the dirty bird down there today, Paul. And, you know, over here in Germany, they haven't quite got the rhythm of it. So he was giving them some pointers. An important snap here late in the first quarter. Both way! Barnes finds Werner Hippler. The tight end earns the first down at the 20-yard line. Frankfurt off its goal line as the first quarter comes to an end. 7-7 seven, seven in Paul Stadion. First meeting between these two teams produced more than 70 points. Andy McCullough here to put Frankfurt in front with less than two minutes to go. 35-28 before the Scottish Claymores. Damian Craig would tie it at 35 all. We went to overtime. Pat Burns with the go-ahead touchdown. Would the Claymores be able to respond at the other end? Craig, when flushed by Willie Whitehead, lost the ball. The Galaxy would win in OT. And that's the two quarterbacks, Jake DeLome and Pat Barnes. Quite a day that afternoon. 53 passes, over 400 yards passing offense. Both of them a lot of success. We will see Jake DeLome later in this half. Pat Barnes as the second period opens continues under center. Throws near a first down is Mario Bailey. Lee Wiggins on the stop for being ill. Bailey's been effective here early, hasn't he? Uh, he loves uh, playing here in Bald Stadion, fifth year in Frankfurt, and a big crowd favorite. Probably a toss up between him and the native Werner Hippler as to who gets the biggest response when they make a play. Well, Mario Bailey, who has all the league records uh, pass receiving, said he's not interested in records. He just wants World Bowls. Following the gain of 11. Barnes away from the linebacker, Finkus. Stiff arms up the sideline. A flag is thrown in as he goes down at the Frankfurt 37-yard line. <laughs> I just saw the right tackle. Todd Stewart signal the face mask. I don't know how he knew it was a face mask. He was right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, offensive tackles don't normally get to see down the field behind them. But Stewart, you know, he knows the signal for the face mask, too. He was all over it. Face mask. 
Five yards only. Number 99 on the defense. Penalized five yards. The reason why I knew is because that's down. Matt Finkus right here. That was Stewart's man. There's Shatoni Sargent coming. Just incidental, the five-yard variety of the face mask. The more flagrant type where you jerk the head, you know, and it does like that 360 around yeah. the neck. That's a 15-yard penalty. Right, right. Shatoni Sargent played for the Ryan Fire in their championship season last year. Blitz is on. Campos coming. Bailey makes the reception, stayed in bounds across midfield to the 45. Now the Claymores have made a switch at the left cornerback. And Clifford Ivory is now in there. There's 24 Ivory going up against Bailey one on one. It's just a quick move. You know, and the ball is out quickly. And now, you know, he's a little guy. Yeah, and it's hard. He's slippery. It's like he's covered in Vaseline. Yeah, there's no place to grab on him. He's all bones. He's got a bad right shoulder. It's taped down. It hurts him every time he hits the turf. But, hey, it's all about the game. His fourth reception. They gained 13 there. Now Cheney. Alan Campos on the stop. All right. Hey, be there for me on this one, all right? Here we go. Right out. 860 speedy reel on one, right? 860 calls the protection. They're going to slide the line uh, to the left. Sean Scales right, and Bailey there. Blue 20 hit. Both way. And back to the right. McCullough makes the catch and is gone. Touchdown. and Andy McCullough connect for their second touchdown of the first half. Now they made this, made this switch at the left corner from Joey Elams to Clifford Ivory. It hasn't made any difference. Kleinman for the extra point. Right, Jackson. Out of DeLone's hole. A Frankfurt Galaxy leading 14-7. to Arizona Cardinals sent Andy McCullough to play for the Frankfurt Galaxy. I have to like the looks of this. He has caught two touchdown passes in the first half. See that scoring drive? That was 99.9 .9 yards. Yeah, Paul, that was a 14-point turnaround. They stopped Damian Craig cold at the goal line on fourth down. Then they march eight plays, so 14-point swing. Okay, guys, wait for the ball to be Ralph Kleidman kicking it to the near side. Yo Murphy. Yo Murphy still on his feet. A penalty marker down as he slips out across the 35 yard line. Well, last week, Jim Kreiner said 160 yards in penalties, penalty yards in the special team game. Way too many, a number of them on kickoff returns and nullified a couple of good Yo Murphy returns. Still plagued by it. During the return, number 55 of the return team holding 10 yard penalty. First down. And Mitt Walter in there with. What is the fourth penalty of the first half against the Claymores? Cornerbacks that are nervous and getting beat start cheating by looking in at the quarterback here. And here is Ivory looking at Barnes. He looks too long because McCullough is by him. He needs to be looking at McCullough and jamming Andy McCullough, not letting him get that head of steam. Craig on first down. A lot of time to throw deep, and he does for Yo Murphy. Murphy. For the end zone, touchdown, Claymores. 75 yards, Craig to Yo Murphy. Well, if we thought that was a shootout in the first game three weeks ago, Paul, 
We've got every bit of that again here tonight. Now watch Damian Craig. He scrambles over here to buy some time. He never gives up on Yo Murphy, and Yo never gives up on him, and Corey Gilliard gets caught. Gets caught looking in at the quarterback. Just enough for Murphy to get by him. Murphy, who spent the offseason working on his speed after being released from the Minnesota Vikings, said he's faster and he's doing a better job of stretching defenses. That's a good example. Rob Hart to tie it up. Get your run! We are going back and forth between two teams who focused on this game as a very pivotal showdown. Craig has been brilliant in the first half. Well, Damian Craig, who was perfect already today, was the leading quarterback in NFL Europe prior to last week's game. You're going to see a nice reaction as he puts everything into this pass. Never takes his eyes off of Yo Murphy down the field. Now he wants to see the celebration. Gets behind the safety, Corey Gilliard. And anytime a quarterback has that kind of time, and that time he had was because of his athletic ability, you know, you're going to have trouble. And you see, now he's talking to the whole team there because the quarterback has got to be the leader of the whole team. Talking not only to the offense, but to the defense saying, we're going to win this game. Yo Murphy. All-time leading receiver in the history of the Claymores, one of the great players that this league has seen coming back for his third season. Yeah, Yo Murphy was with the Minnesota Vikings last preseason. He started off in pretty good shape, he said, but they had this guy named Randy Moss. Came into camp, and they kind of forgot about Murphy. A short kickoff. Sean Scales runs up. Shakes it out to the 34-yard line. Well, Yo Murphy said, Paul, you know, to us yesterday that this is his last shot to try to get back to the NFL. And he played in the Canadian League for three years, and he was with the Vikings in 96 and 97. Came over to this league in two years. He was the World Bowl MVP in 1996, and you know, he's 30 years old now. And it's time for him to move on or give it one last shot. He said he learned a lot from Chris Carter. Chris Carter was over here doing games for Fox, and you know, he kind of like hung around him, and he followed him in Minnesota and learned a lot. He said, you know, Chris Carter never runs full speed. It's really the way he runs his routes is the way he gets open. Jake DeLome, new quarterback for the Galaxy. Runs in to catch Marinsky. And he is swarmed under, back to the 30-yard line. So Jake DeLome now, alternating with Pat Barnes, comes on. An allocation from Mike Ditka and the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, and DeLome has really benefited from the reps he's gotten in this league this year. And he was here last year and played for Amsterdam, but he only played one game. And he was disappointed. He said, the only way I could come over here and play this year is if I can play. So Dick Curl said, we'll rotate both guys, and I'm not going to stop the rotation. He thinks both guys have a chance to stick in the NFL this fall. After a loss of four. Delone to catch Marinsky. Marinsky out across the 35, up to the 37. Jamal Anderson of the Atlanta Falcons. We saw him earlier in the stands, and he joins us here in the booth. It is great to have Thank you in you. Germany. Thank you. Very nice to be here. Jamal, you've been over here now for a couple of weeks. Right. Tell us a little bit about what you've just been up to. Flew over here, compliments of United States Air Force Europe to do the extreme summer. Me and uh, Travis Hall, we kicked off the program. I uh, went to a bunch of different military bases in uh, London and throughout Germany. Uh, we just had a great time. It was a great experience hanging out with the troops and the kids and everybody on the bases. Blitz coming. DeLome gets it away, but he's unable to connect with Andy McCullough. Jamal, you know, 410 carries this year for the Atlanta Falcons and a bunch more in the playoffs. Is the body recovered? I mean, it's May now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. It started to feel a little bit better around the end of March, April. I got back to working out, training again, and just trying to take care of myself, you know, do the massages and do the things that you have to do, icing, and just to make sure that I'm 100% when the season comes around. But uh, it took me a long time. It took me a couple months to recover. Yo, Murphy set the field uh, this punt. Barry Cantrell. 
He calls for the fair catch and makes it at the 24-yard line. On a 46 yards there. What a super season for you and for them, obviously, to win the NFC. And we all are looking at the purple in this stadium. Remember that great win in Minnesota. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. That's what's kind of funny. Me and Travis, we went to the kickoff game. And just to see the excitement here, it's uh, unbelievable for the football in, in, in Europe. And I think it's very, very good for the NFL. Not only that they develop this league continuously, uh, but they, they continue to have franchises like this. It was good to see this type of excitement in the Georgia oh, yeah. Dome this year. Yeah, exactly. It's been it, a while. Yeah, it has. It really has been a while. And so we, we were excited about it and, and excited about continuing that process, building process to continue to stay uh, one of the elite teams in the NFL. Jamal watching with us. This 9 for 9 showing so far for Damian Craig. Met in the backfield. Wrapped up. It's Ben Snell by Vince Amy. And up front for the Scottish Claymores, Jamal. Barry Sims, number 76, is playing right tackle. He's from the University of Utah. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's my man. I talked to him last week. I tried to catch him down in uh, the Dusseldorf Stadium when they played the Rhyme. So it's exciting to see him out here. He's doing a good job. I told him, I said, look, man, you keep playing well. I'm going to do everything I can. Make sure you get on the team with me. But uh, he's doing a great job so far, so it's really exciting to see him. He says you're his workout partner tomorrow. Yeah. You know, who's throwing around more weight? Well, no, Barry's a little bit bigger than me, but it's always my inspiration. People wonder why in the NFL I'm able to run through defensive linemen every now and then, and uh, that's definitely the reason. Try to work out with the linemen, wrestle with the linemen, do whatever I can to stay with the big guys and, and continue to get stronger. Uh, you know, one thing that, uh, you know, the Fox team did, I know, in the playoffs up there in Minnesota and San Francisco was always talking about your leg strength tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. I know, I know you can underneath that squat rack. Oh, there's no doubt about it. You have to. Uh, we, we continuously do that. We do all type of workouts um, in, in Atlanta. And in, in my own workouts in the offseason to try to continue to build not only the strength in your leg and develop the muscles, but to have, you know, the ability to run through tackles, to keep it fast twitch, and to be able to make the cuts and things that you need to do in the NFL. On third down for Damian Craig. That's a first down completion. Kevin Drake hauls it in and gains 16 and the first. And you get good protection for Damian Craig up front, and that's where it began right now. Frankfurt in a three-man line, only rushing three right here. So you're almost two-on-one up front, giving Craig this kind of time, finding Drake over the middle, the soft part of that zone. You know, and great, block, great block by Barry Sims on the outside. You, yeah, know what I'm you know, good running backs exactly. always follow the offensive line. Always. That's the first thing I'm looking at. And I think Damian is doing an excellent job. He looks very poised today. Yeah. Snell. Gilliard comes up to jack him in the hole. What about you for next year? Obviously, everyone wants to know, are you coming back to Atlanta? Yeah, I know that was a terrible rumor. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Now, we are developing right now the contract, the things that we need to do to get me back in there. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. There's no doubt about it that I want to remain an Atlanta Falcon. I want to try to continue to do the things that we did last year. Uh, you know, we play the Super Bowls in Atlanta next year, and we are, we're going to be the, we would like to be the home team, the first team in the history of the league to play at home for the Super Bowl. So definitely want to stay a Falcon. Craig throws Sellers, makes the catch. Go to work on Clarence Love over on the right side. Now, Jamal, yeah, going up to Minnesota and winning that playoff game this year, you had to contend with the type of noise that Damian does here. But he gets the audible out. Here's Sellers looking in to Damian Craig, and he just puts a nice little slant move on Love, and Love, who's only been here about a week, never gets a chance to look back. Oh, that is right there. That is the receiver's dream dream catch right there because the defender has no chance to get into that ball. Damien put it right in a position where only the receiver could catch it or it was going to be an incomplete. That was an excellent pass. A picture of perfection. They gained 24 and now Lush Heritage. Knifing through Jimmy Clemens. Clemens puts a hit on Jesse Haynes here. He's going to be coming right through. He's going to time this just perfectly. A mix up on the left side. One went with Marcus Reister, the other offensive lineman went downfield. And Clements, who starts right now because they're going to a three man line, he's in there playing one of the four linebackers. On that note, from Georgia Tech, an Atlanta man. Exactly. Atlanta man here in the booth. Jamal, good luck to you. Thank you very much. A 30 second timeout. Jamal Anderson 
The Atlanta seconds. Falcons Time with us here. Timeout on the field. Oh, we have a moment here. You want to keep up with all that takes place this side of the Atlantic with Boston. NFL Europe. You can NFL Europe. Com. Well, I remember we were in Barcelona this past week and we were talking to their offensive coordinator, Peter Voss. He heard one of our broadcasts via the internet on NFL.com. Some good audio said that you sounded pretty good on the internet, Paul. He could listen to us through this, yeah, just, you know, put up the audio. And they got this, the Bose speakers working and all that kind of stuff. The girl saying that they're running 12 men into the huddle and then taking one out, which is illegal if that's what they're doing. Uh, sometimes the coaches are just working the official. Seventh play of the drive for the Claymores. For the end zone, touchdown, Sean Bell. Big target over the middle. Third touchdown catch of the year for Sean Bell. And you got to like that matchup. One thing that the Claymores do is they mix up their offensive fronts just the way the Galaxy mixes up their defenses. You know, and when one team goes 99 yards, either you're going to get back in the game or you're going to get blown out. Nice drive by Craig. He is 12 of 12 through the air. That would be just about perfect. Yes, he would be. And so is Rob Hart. 21-14. The Claymores rally to lead by a touchdown on Bell's TD. Damian Craig has hurled three touchdown passes in the first half to three different receivers. And his team leads 21-14. Yeah, and he's really mixing it up, too. He's hitting the running backs now. He just hit his tight end 4-1. Getting Yo Murphy on a long ball. You know, really working the ball around the offense. Sean Scales up the boundary. Hart can't make the tackle. Down to the 41-yard line. And that last touchdown by Sean Bell. Look at Derek Stride, the middle linebacker, where his head. He's supposed to be chucking the tight end. The tight end comes free down the field. He never gets a jam on him. Allowed Sean Bell to run freely down the middle of the field. Yeah. And the party is on for Damian Craig. Look at it. And, you know, you, you can't buy that kind of emotion. What a difference seven days makes. Look the all-time NFL Europe record is 16 of 16. Cheney. Brad Keedy, the defensive tackle number 92, stands in the hole. Now I said at the outset that the key, I think, for the Scottish Claymores tonight was the offense to score early. Well, they're scoring early and often, and it's got to give the defense some confidence that you can take a couple chances. You know, you can go out there and play the way you're supposed to right now, knowing that the offense is going to get the ball back and be able to move it. Kenny has been hobbled, pulled calf. On second down, DeLone slips as he throws, but finds Cheney. Upstairs, Joe Clark, the offensive coordinator. Now here's Joe over here. He was brought in from Amsterdam, first year here in Frankfurt. And one of the reasons why Dick Curl brought him here was an infusion of new ideas. Joe's a passing guy, likes to throw the football. So if you're a receiver or quarterback in this offense, you go, my offensive coordinator likes to throw it. My head coach likes to throw it. Ball's going to get in the air. We're going to have some fun. Blue back hit. On third down for DeLome. Over the middle. And unable to connect for the first down. Werner Hippler had it go through his gloved hands. And the putting unit will come on again. Well, right now, you know, the Scottish Claymores have stopped giving up the big play the last two series. They've made a couple of plays, and then they've been able to knock Frankfurt out on third down. Mary Cantrell 
Well, just an indicator that the defense is being picked up by the offensive onslaught and the points are scoring. Joey Elams awaits the kick. A very short punt. It bounds at the 11 and will be down there. And the Claymores must begin inside their 15-yard line, leading by a touchdown with less than five minutes remaining in the first half. Well, Jim Kreiner at Boise State and Iowa State hey, because you know, really developed guys, a couple of good. coaches that have gone on to the NFL and become quite prominent. John Fox and Campo Rod Dauhauer, a former head coach with the Indianapolis Colts, now the offensive coordinator with Andy Reid in Philadelphia. Mike Solari, who was an assistant with the Dallas Cowboys in the offensive line, now the offensive line coach with Kansas City. That's Vince Alcaldi here and Richard Kent on the phone, the defensive coordinator. He sends in this play. Thirteen of thirteen is Damian Craig. First down for Yo Murphy out across the 25. Well, we talked with Vince yesterday, and you know he believes in the passing game. He was a quarterback himself. He thinks the way the quarterback thinks, and Jim Kreiner believes. We saw that long list of coordinators that he's worked with thinks. This is going to be a bright young mind that's going to be in the NFL running offenses pretty soon. Jesse Haynes with running room. Out across the 35 to the 36. No, no. Jim Kreiner runs the two-back offense, the only two-back offense in this league. And, you know, had a chance for a fullback to get out there and be a lead blocker and a lead draw plays and it's more difficult to prepare for if you're a defense because you haven't had to do that right now Emory Smith is the fullback Jesse Haynes behind going for broke and there's the first incompletion although Donald Sellers had a step Now, Paul, they just went 13 for 13. What is it with that number 13? His first incompletion of the evening. 13 of 14. It had Donald Sellers open. It had him open for a streak that probably would have gotten a touchdown. Look at the yardage, though. Yeah, it's piling up quickly. He is connected with Sellers tonight for a touchdown. One of his three. Scott Cooper in motion. Jesse, oh, Jesse Haynes for a first down. A week ago, Haynes embarrassed by Ryan. Six carries for a minus six yards rushing. They're running off the right side, right here behind Adam Hernandez and Barry Sims. A nice job of scooping up front, taking David Holscher out and finding those two tough yards to convert that third down and keep this drive alive. Now just doubling him in yardage right now, and most of that is because Craig is just razor sharp. And it all starts with protection. Jesse Haynes there, under allocation from the Kansas City Chiefs. We are late in the first half as Ron Winter comes over to the sideline. Substitution number four went off the field in the end zone. Okay. That's a previous spot foul, so we have to go back to where we snapped it previously. Okay. It's going to be third down and six. Third and six. previous line of scrimmage. Okay. Illegal, illegal substitution. It's a loss of down. That's the, that's the, the key part end. right there. So he now he comes back, and it's going to be illegal third and six. Number four, the offense left the field through the end zone. That's a previous third spot enforcement, a five-yard penalty. Will be third and six. Oh, he left going through the end zone. You can't do that. You can't leave on the other side of the field. You can only leave to your bench. And see, the, the problem with that is the reason why the rule is there is you lose track of Donald Sellers if he goes through the end zone. Nobody's looking down there to see what happened to him. Kevin Drake pats him on the helmet. Hey, outside receivers, make sure you get an outside release on this. You go inside. You try and clear out the middle of the field here, but the receiver's taking an outside release. 
take the cornerbacks out wide and open up and stretch the middle of the field a little bit more. Officials conferring again, perhaps on the spot of this football. No, we didn't run another play after that. Third down from 36. Third down. Third down. He says we did. So the previous play is null and void. Because of the illegal substitution, they have to go back to the spot. Where the ball was marked, and the pass was incomplete to Sellers. They're deep into the rule book right now, aren't they, on where to mark this ball? Well, these officials come over here just like the players and the broadcasters to get work. They come over under Jerry Seaman's guidance for two weeks at a stretch. We'll do two games, then go back home, and they rotate. And the interesting thing about these officials, they watch their films just the way the players and the coaches watch theirs. And every official that's been hired in the NFL the last three years has worked in NFL on Europe. On the 36-yard line. So that there's a... 105 officials in the NFL ball, and 72 of them have been over here. Ron Winter worked in the playoffs last season in the National Football League. Third down from the 36. A rocking Barry Stokes, the left tackle, moved prior to the snap. Yeah, and I tell you, Paul, you're sitting down there in your stance, and you're looking out at that pass rusher, and you hear whistles and horns in the stands. Prior to the snap, ball start, number 67 the offense, five-yard penalty, remains third down. And, you know, the way he raises up here, here's Stokes. Okay, now he's looking at his rusher, he's one-on-one. -on -one. Look how slowly he raises up. He's like, uh-oh. He looked inside. Nobody Please else is moving. I'm moving. Block. I'm the bad guy. And it's really disconcerting the noise in here. It's very difficult to concentrate. You literally have to turn your head in and look at Please Damian Craig's mouth clock. to get the signal. Set the game clock to 312. You are hearing with us what Damian Craig is trying to shout above. The whistles of these the close to 40,000 fans involved study on this evening. Well, see, what Craig has to do is he has to give those signals to the right, come back and give the signals again to the left, make sure both sides of the line can hear him, or at least look at him. I mean, you got to be able to do some lip reading out there, Paul. See him? Went left. He starts another streak to Yo Murphy. They pick up the first down. Out across the 40-yard line. And now shoving on the sideline. Jamal Alexander, number 27 there, mixing it up. Well, working on Alonzo Hampton, who was way inside on this play. Look at Hampton, is all the way inside. Look at Yo Murphy has this whole outside of the field here. The Hampton never is able to get close to him. An inside technique that wasn't the right technique on that pass pattern. Trying to cheat a little bit at Craig. A gain of 12. Black 25! Black 25! Hot. Craig keeps it on the ground. Aims across midfield. Now, this is just not a very physical Frankfurt Galaxy defense. You know, when their offense is scoring in bunches, they're not on the field a lot. And they're able to pin their ears back and really go after quarterbacks. But when they have to stay out on the field and continue to pass rush an elusive guy like Craig, that's exhausting and tiring. And right now, they're rotating the line to try to keep them fresh. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. And now the officials' whistles to join those of the fans here at Bald Stadion. The two-minute warning. This has been an outstanding NFL Europe football game between two. Thanks, Kevin. Two focused football teams in Frankfurt and Damian Craig, a star tonight through the air. Well, the Claymores came in with the worst pass defense in this league, but Damian Craig is wriggling this Galaxy defense right now. In fact, they made a switch at the left corner. Taking safety, Michael Reed, and replacing him for Clarence Love. Tony Ranto goes to safety. Good 
going nowhere. It'll be third down and short near midfield. Now the leading tackler on this Galaxy team is Corey Gilliard right there, 29. And he's been busy tonight, but not making tackles. We got, we really got. in pass defense. We got green, 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 green. He's the quarterback of the secondary. Gotcha, I got you. Let's go, baby, let's go! Let's go! Let's go right here! All right. Third down, they hey, need to stop. Left. Got Got a backer, Clay. Cut! Black 35! Black 35! Cut! On the roll. Close to the first down marker for Yo Murphy. And it appears on the spot that he earned the first. They picked up four. Alonzo Hampton on the tackle. Nice job by Craig on the bootleg to get those shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and make that easy pitch and catch to Murphy. Favor! Favor! Time out, time out, time out. Time out. Damian will burn his final timeout of the uh, first half as he heads toward time the sideline. He's trying to get the guys Here's lined up correctly, and he had trouble. Timeout. 30 second timeout. Hasn't made any other bad decisions tonight. What made you think that that timeout would be one? Jamie, Jamie. Hey. Pull me, pull me in. Jamie, pull me. What now? All right. We're going to go two minutes now. That's right. Coach, 25. Go ahead, Jagger. He wants to run to Seattle. Seattle. It's covered two all the time. Vince, just give me the play. Deuce left, 24 Winston. That's Vince Alcaldi with the headset on right here, and he made the call to 24 Winston. Relays it to Jimmy Kreiner, who then gives it to Damien, who gives it to the team. Catch made. Murphy dancing down to the 30-yard line. And moving close to Rob Hart's field goal range. 24, Jack! No, no! 25, Jack! 25! Jack, 25! He gained 16. Sacks back at the 40-yard line. David Holscher of the Washington Redskins never gave up. And Craig never felt them. And now to spike the ball, the clock it with 19 seconds remaining. Uh, he grabs on grab. David Holscher working against Barry Sims at the right tackle position. There he is coming around the horn. Never gives up on the play. And that's a good feeling if you're a defensive end because you just beat up on the right tackle. You didn't quit. You've been out there chasing this guy all night long. You beat the running back, and then you make the play. That's you get his first sack. Yeah, his first yeah. of the season. Yeah. Take Let's celebrate that tonight. Out of field goal range. Rare miscommunication between Damian and Craig. Gilliard there defensively and his receiving core. Now they blitzed Jamal Alexander off the left tackle. And Craig read it correctly. He read the hot route, but poor communication between him and Scott Cooper. That's Jamal Alexander, who just arrived here a couple of weeks ago because of a rash of injuries to the Galaxy defense. Alexander, who was in with the Detroit Lions in training camp this year. Trying to get boned up for the NFL season. That'll cost him five more on fourth down. Delay a game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Remains fourth down. The putting unit now will come on. Well, they really had a nice drive going for him, and that sack hurt him. And really not a good job of managing, I thought, the last two minutes of this half. 
It's one of the few criticisms, Baldy, you could have of him at 311 yards through the air and three touchdowns. He's got a nice command of this offense and does a lot of things well. One of them is he reads defenses very well. <laughs> Dolan. His punt scoots into the end zone. A handful of seconds remaining here. Bring it out to the 20-yard line in time for one final play for the Frankfurt Galaxy. These two teams entered tonight. Identical records, three wins and two losses, opening the second half of the year and the push toward the World Bowl. Well, it's the second half of the season, both tied at three and two, looking up at Barcelona. I and mean, they're just trying to keep pace with what the Dragons are doing. First half, you mean? Fuck, man. Well, I don't think Frankfurt needs to the panic at all. They're only down a score. On the, play. And the time ran out on the play. That's the end of the half. Well, officially, the time on the field has expired. And we are at halftime. Scotland on those three Damian Craig touchdown passes leading 21 to 14. A lot of yards, especially in the passing department. Well, you should just cross out the rushing attack because this is not by land, <laughs> this is by air. And then and Damian Craig here came in and he had something to prove. You know, and he's been lighting it up. He's been nearly perfect here in the first half. And, you know, and the key play, really, I thought in the first half was Damian Craig not getting into the end zone when he had an opportunity from the goal line. What happened here was that was a 14-point turnaround. Pat Barnes took the Galaxy after that stop and went 99 and a half yards to get it on the board. Damian Craig just wonderful in the first half. And connected on his first uh, 13 passes. 16 of 19 and all, only three incompletions. And now well over 300 yards. It may be a record-setting night for him. To the frustration of Dick Curl and the Frankfurt Galaxy. Yo Murphy, Go, hands to Jesse Haynes. And Haynes works his way out across the 40-yard line. What is Dick Curl saying to his team at halftime? Let's listen. That was an absolute an embarrassment. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves defensively. Absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Hey, get that door shut and get the hell out of here. Yeah, angry. And he should be. You know, because they didn't do anything to slow this team down. No big hits, no jams, line of scrimmage. Never got in Damian Craig's face. Craig starts off with excellent field position. Haynes tries to turn the corner and cannot. Is shot back. Holscher was there. Jimmy Clemens was there. They'll lose yardage. What a difference a week makes. Last week against Ryan, you know, very little offense. You know, 21 yards rushing. Right 13 percent on third down. Complete reversal this week, and that's just focus. That's getting back to what you do best. That's everybody doing their assignments. And that's good leadership and quarterback from that man. Good protection again. And Sean Bell makes the catch at midfield, about a yard shy of the first down for the big tight end, the tall target at 6'6", allocated by the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, good-looking target now. You know, we... We saw him go over the middle for the 24-yard touchdown pass reception in the first half. You know, and, you know, the quarterbacks like to find the big guys over the middle. I mean, they're easy to find in traffic. We have an injured Galaxy defender in front of the Claymore bench. And uh, this is the last thing that Dick Curl and his defensive coordinator, Dan Daniels, would wish to see, for they have a long list of players that have been injured this year. Well, you know, Jimmy Cantaloupe was the leader in their defense. He got hurt in the first week. Willie Whitehead was their best pass rusher. Dorian Brew was solid at the left corner. They just put Ron Bailey on IR. Vince has been out here playing basically on one ankle tonight. And I give 
You know, Dan Daniels and Ed O'Neill, the defensive staff, great credit to be able to continue to scheme and use players that are coming off the bus stop and just showing up and plugging them in and getting those guys to play well. Fortunately, Jimmy Clemens is able to uh, leave the field under his own power. The second man through his hands. He fights for the first down. The linebacker Derek Stride on the stop, but not before he picks up the first and drives the ball into Frankfurt territory. What's the lead block here by Jamie Reader right into the hole, and watch Haynes patiently finding his spot in there. This is an advantage of having a two-back set. Nice block on the lead on the middle linebacker, Derek Stry, and enough for Haynes to pick up the first down, but all started with the fullback's block. Craig unloading quickly, the ball comes free and has ruled an incomplete pass. This is good closing speed by that man, Alonzo Hampton. And maybe that speech by Curl at halftime woke up a couple of the secondary people. Look at the space here that Hampton gives Scott Cooper. And now watch him close. Now, like he's running a 40-yard dash, but in a mean frame of mind. Putting that helmet right between the eight and the one on scoops, Scott Cooper. Clemens back in and blitzing. Craig runs around him. Gets past Holscher. Look at him go. Multi-dimensional. Damian Craig. Another first down. And a run, a designed run all the way. A bootleg keeper by Craig, and what a move he put on Jimmy Clemens, 57. Yeah, nobody gets a clean shot on number two. Like smoke through a keyhole. After the gain of 13. Murphy makes the catch but can't get back to his feet. Right at the uh, line of scrimmage for Yo, and as you can see, there's a penalty marker down. A lot of people think that Damian Craig is just a scrambling quarterback, but that last play was a designed run. You know, and he came in averaging over five yards a carry this year, but he only runs when he has to, when it's the last option. It's not something that he's looking to do. The misnomer on him, Brian, I think, is that he's simply a scrambling quarterback. When he played at Auburn in the SEC, he set the single-season Auburn passing record of better than 3,000 yards. <laughs> That's a pass interference call against Damian Craig's Claymores will repeat first down. The point being that he can stand in the pocket and throw effectively. Well, you see, the, the thing that he has is he has the ability to get at top speed very quickly and to accelerate. So when he drops back, he's got very soft feet. He gets back very quickly and he sets up, and then he's able to scan that defense. Murphy in traffic. Maranto along with Gillier broke it up. Now one way that you stop the passing game is you start hitting the wide receivers coming across the middle and you make them pay. And here Corey Gillier does that. Right here in the middle of the field. He's going to come and read now. now. You can't let those guys come open and free on those open freeways in the middle of the field. Second and long. Break Wide down. open is Sellers. Another touchdown. Donald Sellers. And a breakdown on the outside between Gilliard and Hampton. They're talking about it right now. 44 yards this time. Now, Damian Craig looking right, comes back to his left. Right-handed quarterback's coming back to the left. Not the easiest thing. You see Hampton looking over here to Gilliard. You're supposed to have the deep half of the field. Breakdown in the secondary, and Craig, razor sharp tonight, 
exposes it. And Sellers catches his fourth of the season. That is the fourth thrown in this one game by Damian Craig. Rob Hart with the extra point. And the Claymores now double up on the Frankfurt Galaxy. And lead 28 to 14. The leading receiver in NFL Europe, Donald Sellers, as you see by the St. Louis Rams helmet on his jersey, allocated from Dick Vermeil's club, has just hauled in his second touchdown reception of the night as Damian Craig enjoys a record-setting evening. Galaxy now. Three unanswered touchdowns, and Sean Scales returns this kick out to the 23-yard line. And Paul, this is just a breakdown in the coverage that led to Sellers' touchdown. You're going to see three defenders here on two receivers. But when two guys go the wrong way, and Hampton thinks he has help here, and he doesn't get it, Sellers runs free. And it's inexcusable, and they're talking about it right now, but it's too late. Because Sellers, who said he has yet to play his best game ever, or best game yet this year, may be having it right now. Yards and touchdowns, both eclipsing the previous best. Jim Ballard, three years ago, as the Claymores played at Barcelona, passed for 355 yards and three touchdowns. Well, Damian Craig was the first quarterback to pass for over 1,000 yards this year after the fourth game of the season. And then he had trouble last week. And that's the middle linebacker for the Claymores, Emmett Waldron, down on the ground. Native of Ireland, played in the World Bowl, or the American Bowl game in Dublin two years ago. Pittsburgh played, uh, played up there. And they're having trouble at linebacker. They lost John Hess from the St. Louis Rams last week with a bicep injury he's finished for the season flew to Birmingham to hell south to get that bicep operated on they had lost Terry Rice Lockett for a number of weeks now starting tonight in place of Hess so they're doing a juggling act right now Emmett Waldron with a cart being brought out to carry him off and perhaps we can see where the injury occurred now here's there it is right there here he is getting knocked off his, his feet it looked like by Harold Gregg. One of those shots that you get on a kickoff returns, you never see it coming. You know, the next thing you know is your tailbone's on the, on the ground. Your head's getting bounced up off the turf. And that's the, uh, the kamikaze science of special teams. Emmett Waldron, a three-year veteran of NFL Europe, played collegiately at Rice University in the old Southwest Conference. And here's shaken up this evening. A pause in the action in Frankfurt. <laughs> Emmett Waldron headed to the dressing room. Left leg in an air cast right now. And see, being encouraged by his teammates. And just a special teams hit. Got blindsided by Harold Gregg to the left of your screen. You slow it down right here. Here's the hit. You never saw him coming. Gregg gets, Gregg gets right in on him and finishes him right there. Hopefully it doesn't finish his year. Popular guy on the team. First down now with Pat Barnes in for the Galaxy. And he opens up, connecting with Mario Bailey. Barnes started this game for Frankfurt and threw two first-half touchdown passes. Yeah, and Barnes, you know, just threw the one interception and then wasn't able to get into the, to the end zone one other time. But he's a guy that has a lot of confidence in himself, a lot of poise, and he knows that he's going up against a porous secondary. He just has to be patient and let the game come to him. Picks up 16. Blue five! Blue five hit! Over the middle, nine more, and again it is Bailey with his sixth reception of the night for Mario. Alan Campos on the stop. 
And Joe Clark had already given the play down on to the field, the offensive coordinator. Pat Barnes has it in his helmet. In this league, the quarterbacks wear electronics inside their helmets so they can hear the play. In the NFL, they shut it off with 15 seconds to go before the play. But right now, the coordinator can talk to Pat all the way up until the snap. Pat. Around Terry Rice Lockett. And it's Bailey back to the football. Oh. And Bailey bails out Barnes. He does it so often. The reason why he's the all time leading receiver in this league. But it starts with the Whirly Bird. What Dick Curl calls Barnes. His ability to elude the rushers in the pocket. The head never goes down. The head stays up, always looking for a receiver to come back to him. And that's just a comeback drill. They actually practice that during the week, where something breaks down, the receivers all come back to the quarterback, and that's just rehearsal. Fresh set of downs. Jermaine Cheney for the first time in the second half. First go around between these two teams, Brian, he had a 91-yard day. He was solid, one of his better efforts of the season. That game in Murrayfield. Yeah, you're talking about Jermaine Cheney. He had a 47-yard touchdown run. You know, this Frankfurt team, only two touchdown runs this year. One of them was Cheney, and the other one was a quarterback sneak by Barnes in overtime against Scotland three weeks ago. Wide open, Andy McCullough inside the 20-yard line for the man himself who has two touchdown receptions tonight. Now, this is just target practice right now for Barnes. Here's McCullough, big receiver, going up against the press. Got to be able to beat the jam. Clifford Ivory doesn't even put a hand on him, just lets him run free. Just as so we saw a breakdown for Sellers' touchdown the last series, a breakdown by the Claymores that time. They're driving now. That reception to McCullough was good for 24 yards. E 20. He's single uh, covered right now. Cheney with daylight. Good call. You're having success throwing the football right there, Paul. You know, right now the defensive lineman cognizant trying to get pressure on him. Just run the draw. Frankfurt's favorite play. Spread the field. Five guys in the box. Offensive lineman on defensive lineman. Let him go head to head. But Cheney pick his hole. The seventh play of the drive. Move on it. Cheney for the first down. First and goal. Claymores. Out of Indiana. Played for Bill Mallory there as Jermaine Cheney. Uh, Dick Curl likes to throw the football. No, you know, there's no questioning about that. And he likes to throw the football to set up the run. But the difficulty that Frankfurt has had this year is running inside the red zone, inside the 20 yard line. The when the field gets compressed, it's easier to play pass defense. It's nice and valuable if you can run it. Third, blue 20. Blue 20. Hit. Broken up. Incomplete. Good defensive play by Cliff Schomberger. It's only his second game in that Claymore secondary. A huge play there on Sean Scales in the end zone. You know, good receivers. Quarterbacks still throw it to him when they're well covered. And that's a nice play by Schamberger. But right there, Scales could do a better job of shielding Schamberger and getting him on his back. Just the way Carl Malone could put somebody on his back for a rebound. <laughs> So throw some elbows. Second and goal. Barnes looking to take a shot again. Runs out of time. Jermaine Benoit bears him at the 20-yard line. On the backside. Brad Keeney there too. A few times they've been able to get pressure on the quarterback today from the front four. Here's Brad Keeney coming along with Jermaine Benoit. And Frankfurt does a poor job of picking up that twist. Good hustle by both Benoit and Keeney. Only their fourth sack by the defensive line this season. The fewest in this league. And 
Keeney, who's playing on basically one leg, had a pulled calf muscle. He's got it taped up, and he's still going. On third down, Barnes takes another shot for the end zone. And it looks to be intercepted, and is by Denars Mosley. Mosley picks it off. Barnes intercepted for the second time tonight. This time, though, in the end zone. Strange choice for Mario Bailey to be the guy running the fade against Denoris Mosley, the smallest receiver on the Galaxy. That should be McCullough at six foot three to be able to go up and get this jump ball. But nonetheless, Barnes underthrew that football. He thought he had a touchdown until he saw the officials ruling where Mosley came down with the football. Yeah, the double chin strap on button right there. That says it all. Frustration in the second interception of the evening for Barnes. And now Craig takes over, having thrown four touchdown passes himself tonight. He pumps once. He's looking deep for Sellers. Sellers makes the catch. Inside the 20. Inside the 10. First and goal. 71 yards. Michael Reed defending. An audible from Craig to Sellers, seeing press coverage on the right side between Michael Reed and Sellers. The pump, and now Sellers accelerates. He gets two steps on Reed. And now the race is on. You're carrying that football so heavy, Reed's able to knock him out of bounds and save the six points. But what a burst by Sellers on the outside. Drake in motion. The sweep to Snell stood up at the line of scrimmage. Sellers gets the one game blow with 168 yards already tonight. The league record is Diallo Burks for a one game receiving yard. 196 in week one this year from the Ryan Fire. Number of records look like. They could fall this evening. And this deep into Frankfurt territory in what could be a Come devastating on. blow. Scotland. And uncertain. Their first Good time for Craig to burn a, a timeout. Time and over he comes. Over 400 yards passing now is Damian Craig. We've Fullback drop. What? Go forward and run fullback drop. And if I see something I like, I check it to face. He, he wants to run fullback draw. If he sees something he likes, he'll check it to pass. Out of quad. Not a bad thought. Put yo at X. Hey, come here. Hey, 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 come here. Trey Wright, fullback draw. Uh, Damian Craig wants the fullback draw, knows what he wants out there in the field, and sold it. Hey, we're gonna go Trey Wright fullback draw. If I check it, I'm gonna go drag and tie okay. Trey Wright fullback draw. I'm one on one. Go to X. Just alerted to his offense. As he sees a certain X. look. He's gonna go to the fade in the end zone. Set. Back 25. Back 25. Cut. Snell, they lost the ball. It's recovered by Frankfurt. They were blitzing to stop the run, to stop the audible, to stop the fade, whatever it was. Here's Corey Gillier coming in from the safety position. And the key to this blitz is the timing. Comes in clean and knocks the ball loose. Biggest play of the game for the Galaxy. Gets the ball back for Pat Barnes. And gets this crowd back in it. The first turnover committed by Craig and the Claymores. Barnes. 
He'll be sacked again. Shatoni Sargent at the eight yard line. And give that secondary credit. I'm a line secondary. One that's given up 17 touchdowns this season. This is a covered sack. Pat Barnes right here. I mean, right now, that's just good hustle on the outside by Sargent. But Barnes just sitting right there in the pocket, not able to get out because they did a good job of keeping him in the pocket. After the loss of 10, Barnes steps up, takes off, and gets out across the 15 to the 17-yard line near the original line of scrimmage. Matt Finkus, middle linebacker there, number 50 getting back to his feet. Yeah, Campo's right there talking to the official. Very close to a personal foul as he stepped on the chest of Barnes as he was trying to get up off the field. Just a little reminder that I'm the linebacker, you're the quarterback, and I want to get in your face any way I can. Blue five. Blue five. Barnes on the move. Catch Marinsky makes the catch and will not earn the first down. And the Claymores, even though they turn it over, hold Frankfurt to three and out. Huge series for the Claymores. And, you know, we talked to Jimmy Kreiner yesterday. He said, our defense gets confidence when our offense is scoring points. And this is a more confident defense than we've seen in the last two weeks. Now Barry Cantrell to punt. They'll be kicking to Yo Murphy. He needs to get... Off better than a 38-yarder this evening. He hung this very high. Murphy makes the fair catch at the 39-yard line, and from that point, Damian Craig on a record-setting night. The all-time leading passing record set tonight by Craig to come back on the field, although there is a penalty marker now that has been thrown. And Damian's got a seven-month-old son at home, and he misses him. You know, he's up there in Scotland, and the weather isn't great, and he's not crazy about eating seven different types of potatoes every single day, but he said winning can kind of take care of everything. There, there's more food than that in Scotland than Edinburgh. No, 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 Paul, no, no. If you're a culinary, if, you, you know, if you're an expert in the kitchen. Unnecessary roughness. Number 24 of the receiving team. Penalized 15 yards. First down. A big Clifford Ivory. Clifford Ivory. You won't be able to get a table reservation in Scotland next week. Look at this, the Barcelona Dragons, led by Lawrence Phillips, take on the Amsterdam Admirals. Mike Colley at the helm. Boy, what a difference Colley has made in Amsterdam, taking over for Dan Gonzalez, the leading rated quarterback in this league after about two and a half weeks of work. That'll be in one of the great show palaces of Europe, too. The arena in Amsterdam. Barcelona and Amsterdam, Frankfurt and the Rhine Fire. All that next week. Craig out of the backfield. Haynes gets a block. 15, 16 yards. Craig may finish with a 500-yard passing performance tonight. Well, some of those yards are made possible because of the blocks by the wide receivers on the outside. This time, watch Joe Murphy come back and help out his partner here. Murphy coming back to clean up on the corner. He saw Donald Sellers deliver a, a head leaving block in the first quarter, and Yo Murphy coming back to help out. Now that's why he's got these pads on here. Craig checks. Throws the hitch to Sellers. That'll buy him five. What did he see, Brian? Well, he saw the soft cover on Sellers to the outside. That's the leading receiver in this league, and, and they've got basically their own audible check. Barber 322! Hot! So he saw Michael Reed, 23, who's got beat deep a few times tonight, laying off. Jesse Haynes off the left side. Linebacker Whit Marshall on his back. Marshall's had some leg problems that have bothered him, but he's back in the lineup this evening. Also playing with an injured left hand. He has some ligaments torn in that left hand. 
Yeah, he's, he's also their long snapper. And nothing is more disruptive to the kicking game than if your long snapper is out. You got a thumb that goes all the way back to his arm. It just bends like it's gummy. Against the blitz. Yo Murphy will pick up the first and carry the ball to the Frankfurt side of the field. A gain seven more. Well, Frankfurt went after him on third down with the blitz. They brought the safety, and Damian Craig alertly feels it. He has to throw hot. He gets rid of the ball with Murphy in stride. Murphy doesn't have to come back for the football. Nicely done. Murphy tonight with eight receptions in this game, close to 150 yards. Receiving. Sellers in motion. They'll get it to him on the end around. And he slips in front of the corner. Alonzo Hampton. Hampton uh, owns the distinction of being the only member of that secondary, Brian, that's started every game in the same position, the way they've been forced to move people around. Yeah, he's been banged up too, though. I mean, he's had a pulled hamstring that he's played through. Started every game, but he's come out of a couple of games. That should do it here in the third quarter. At one point, Frankfurt led 14 to 7, but things have certainly changed. Scotland in command. We go to the fourth. Then Paul Stadion. In the 95, the Claymores face the Galaxy in Paul Stadion. Their quarterback, Matt Blunden, nailing receiver Tim Barnett to cut Frankfurt's lead at the time to 14 to 13. Five minutes to go. Later, running back Saran Stacy scoring from a yard out. Scotland had its first win ever, 20 to 14. And for that, they got new uniforms, Paul. <laughs> Those were some ugly-looking uniforms. Jim Kreiner was the coach, albeit with those poor uniforms. We go to the fourth quarter. Brian Baldinger, Paul Kennedy, Damian Craig, the star tonight. Throwing again to Sellers. He made the catch, and a flag goes down. Trying to stay with him was Clarence Love. The corner. Clarence Love from the Philadelphia Eagles must think he's going up against Irving Fryer out there tonight. I mean, it must, it's must. it been a long night for Clarence, and Sellers showing some good speed on the outside. This would be a gain of 36 yards if the play stands. They confer again with our referee tonight and Ron Winter, his crew. Sellers is believing that this is pass interference against Love. Pass interference, number 28 of the defense. The penalty is declined. Result of the play is a first down. Here it is here. I mean, this is just a straight fly route, right? Looking inside to Craig to get the call. And now the burst is on. I mean, just flat out runs past Clarence who the Eagles like, but he never turns around. When Sellers turns his head, Clarence has got to turn his head. And we talked to Love yesterday. He said that, you know, I'm guilty of sneaking a peek, looking back at the quarterback. When that receiver looks, he's got to look. And that's just a receipt, uh, fundamental at quarterback. The running back is Ben Snell. Craig, upstairs, throwing and juggled and dropped in complete. Scott Cooper cannot hold on. Well, he had one hand on this ball for a while. And that's Scoops. That's Scotland's own right there. A nice job as the fourth receiver for this team. But Craig has confidence in him. Got the right hand on the ball, and then he hit the ground. Great effort laying out for it. And that's why the kids like him up here in Scotland. I mean, just great effort. Craig again to Bell, the tight end fighting down to the one yard line. Big Sean Bell. The body's just bouncing off shell. And Craig has discovered again his tight end in this offense, spraying the ball all over the field. Why not? Great looking target. You hear report, report. Jermaine Benoit, 75, is reporting as an eligible receiver. He's a defensive end. He's had a sack tonight. As you look at Sellers' record-setting numbers. Yeah, 210 yards. We mentioned that Gallup Burks has a record. Driving is Jamie Reeder. And he's marked shy of the end zone. What 
could very well be four down territory. Now they've got the jumbo offensive line and they've got Jermaine Benoit who's a defensive end playing one of the tight ends. Just trying to get as many bodies in there, big bodies as possible and just play smash mouth. Here's Benoit here. Third and goal. Jamie Reed in the fullback. Haynes will be following. It's a walk. And a touchdown. Jesse Haynes into the end zone. It's 34 14. I just watched Damian Craig came off the field, did a 50 yard sprint down the sidelines, couldn't wait to slap fives with everybody waiting for him. A 10 play drive for the Scottish Claymores. And on is Rob Hart. Make it a three touchdown lead. Thirty five fourteen. The Claymores in a big way in Frankfurt. When you're a tailback and you've got confidence in your fullback that you're going to get to the end zone. You don't even look at the end zone. Watch Jesse Haynes behind the blocking of Jamie Reader. He knows he's in right now as he starts pointing to the crowd. Never even looks in the end zone. The celebration is on. And we saw, we talked to Jamal Anderson up here in the second quarter. That's how he felt behind Bob Christian this year. Scales won't reach the 30 yard line and the man that Scored the touchdown and Jesse Haynes here makes the tackle. Special teams, the longest drive of the evening, a 10 play march for the Claymores. That's why we didn't see much of a celebration from Haynes after the touchdown. He had to go down and cover the kick. Shows nice, you something there. Nice drive though, 75 yards, 10 plays. And Damian Craig can't feel any better. Haynes out of Northwest Missouri State. Allocation from the Chiefs. Back in the fall, try and make that ball club. From the 29, and the quarterback is Jake DeLong. Blue 29. Blue. 29. Jake finds Werner Hepler, the tight end. And he fights his way close to the first down marker. Trying to learn the middle linebacker position this is the middle linebacker Matt Finkus. Defensive end at Ohio State. So they learn the linebacker you position. Over four blizzards. Over, over four blizzards. Bill Parcells and the Jets converted him from defensive end to linebacker. Backed up Mo Lewis there for in the 1997 season. That was a first down. DeLome throws, Bailey dives, another first down. And Matt Fink has told us, he said, the most difficult thing about playing linebacker is pass coverage. I'm used to putting my hand on the ground and going to chase the guy that throws the football. The quarterback, now I'm in the secondary, I'm reading coverages, I'm dropping in the zones. This is a quarterback friend of the league, they throw the ball all the time. I don't get a chance to do my thing. He was an all. Big Ten defensive end at Ohio State. Blue five hit. On the draw, Jermaine Cheney, and there is Finkus. Grabbed him with his left hand and held on. You know, Matt got to play defensive end on that play. You know, in nickel situations, he goes out to end, and they take out the outside defense. And here's Finkus with his hand on the ground going against Jay Haygood, who he knows from the Jets. They were both 97 together. This is like a Hempstead scrimmage right there. <laughs> like camp. Yeah. Jets camp is Hempstead, Long Island, right on the turnpike. Hempstead turnpike. DeLong and Hippler drops the ball. May have caught a glimpse of Lee Wiggins coming up from the secondary. Talked to Lee Wiggins yesterday and he said, you know, we need more hits, more big hits from the secondary. Here's Hippler working against Joey Elams. He gets released. Here comes Wiggins, 27, making a pay. 
Werner had already dropped the football, but that's the finish. That's the cleanup. Third down now. DeLome unloads it. Cheney stretching inside the 45, but not enough for the first. Now a decision time. If you're Dick Curl and you're at the 44-43, trailing 35 to 14, you really have to go for it. Yeah, and Jake DeLome is just Hold looking on, at the sideline to get that signal. Come on. Hold on. Have no choice. You can see time of the essence with just over 10 minutes remaining. Needs to reach the 40. And he does. Nice play by Todd Floyd, knowing how far he had to go for that first down. Just a crossing route. Here's Todd in the slot, just going to come in over the middle. He's got the linebacker covering him, Alan Campos. Turns him over to Finkus. That's Finkus trying to learn that middle linebacker position. That's his zone, and he's got to feel that receiver coming in. It's, it's something that you feel more than you see. Floyd with his second reception of the game. DeLone warming up this time to McCullough. You know, DeLone in that first game against Scotland was 9 of 9 in the first half with two touchdowns. I mean, he was the way Damian Craig started this game tonight. And he has the ability to get hot. Fake draw, 860 Jets London on one. Ready, Frank? Fake draw. It's going to be a pass here. They're going to protect to the left on the 860, 860 protection. Blue five. For Mario Bailey in the slot. And he overshoots McCullough at the five yard line. Well, he was feeling some heat. Matt Finkers blitzing. Coming from the outside. Yeah, got the hit on DeLome. Lone thought it was a little bit late. He'd already gotten rid of the football when Finkus got there. Set. Cheney to the 20 yard line for the first down. Drive stays alive. Trailing by three TDs is a frustrated Cheney and the Frankfurt Galaxy. The team that loses this game makes a real tumble in the standings. She'd be three and three with but four to play. The other team at four and two is really a major part of the championship chase. Get him some water! Get him some water! Water! And there's a timeout on the field. Timeout. Scotland. Their second. Scotland will use the timeout. A 30-second timeout. Quick glance at the standings here. The Barcelona Dragons timeout. play tomorrow in Berlin hoping to improve to five and one. Well, you know, it's all bunched up here. You know, and Scotland was the team that was able to beat the Dragons. A nice offensive showing in that game. So they feel comfortable going against that team. Ryan fired tonight playing against the Amsterdam Admirals, leading in the third quarter. And I think the team that's dangerous is the Ryan fire because they've made the switch at quarterback. Jim Arianas looked very sharp last week. They've got a strong offensive line and two good running backs, and that's been the formula that have gotten the fire to two World Bowls in a row, winning last year. We have an update on that Ryan Fire score, too. 36 to 19, the fire in front now. They play in the fourth at Amsterdam. Well, they lost in week one to the Scottish Claymores up there in Scotland. Damian Craig, in the last minute, went six yards to win that game win that game 21 to 20. Ryan has to somewhere down the road get that game back. He went a nail biter himself. <laughs> this league has not seen a performance like Craig's tonight. Mike, Mike, Mike. And it's history. Blue 29. Blue 29. <laughs> DeLome throws underneath to McCullough for the first down. Squeezed it in there front of the defender Tony Watkins and picks up the first. And yeah, McCullough has no fear coming across the middle. He's like a jet. 
working against Steve Roska. The safety he gets passed now. McCullough puts the Jets on. Down three touchdowns. They need to find the end zone. Tony Watkins wrestles them out of bounds. That's the way to go across the middle, though, with no trepidation. And I think that means no fear. Set! Running it. Blue 28. Blue 28. Hit. McCullough in motion. DeLome steps up. Look at Benoit chasing him without a helmet. And he'll throw it out of the end zone. <laughs> Ball. They, they, <laughs> see? Yeah, that's Jay Haygood, the left tackle. He goes, and he goes against Jermaine Benoit. That's his head that he just kicked. I don't no. know that in the rule book there is a, a flagrant violation for kicking a helmet. There's Benoit going against Jay Haygood. Now, I mean, that's just a, that's WWF right there. But you see, when you need a win, you just keep running. It's the backyard now. It's the schoolyard. You don't care that you don't have your helmet on. I love the way. <laughs> How don't you? Yeah. Jay now gets two points on the takedown. <laughs> Second down. Delon. To Hippler. Five-yard line. Another, got a nice drive going here, but they're using a lot of the clock to get it done. And the Claymores don't mind that. Forcing them to put a lot of plays together and eat some clock. But DeLome, you know, what he can't do is look at that clock. He's competitive. The fourth quarter is his. This is an opportunity for DeLome to raise Mike Ditka's eyebrows in New Orleans to create this comeback. He has Cheney behind him. Play action to Cheney. Throwing into the end zone, a touchdown to McCullough. Very tough throw for McCullough. Bootlegging to his left. And he has somebody right in his face. Benoit in his face, but nice touch on the ball. Patiently allowing McCullough to come across the field for the opening and the touchdown. Jake will hold for Ralph Kleinman. The score Titans. Two touchdowns, though, separate Dick Curl's Galaxy from the Claymores. The largest and loudest crowd tonight. Paul Stadion as the Galaxy has scored. Trying to make a game of it in the fourth quarter. And the Galaxy aren't showing their hand right now. A nice poker job by him, whether they're going to go for this onside kick or not. The marathon drive, 13 plays, but Bowley it took over six and a half minutes. Yeah, and that was the key. You know, the Claymores were able to keep them out there on the field for those 13 plays and eat that clock. Out of the huddle, they quickly kick it. And Scott Cooper will down it on one knee. He draws the whistle. Clemens taps him on the helmet. What an unconventional onside kick formation that was. Well, what they're trying to do here is get this ball to bounce off one of the Claymores and catch the rebound. But it sails right through the Claymore smartly. Let that ball go. Now, this is the biggest series of the game for the Galaxy. They need the ball back. Against the blitz, Craig Rolls. And throws deep, Sellers incomplete. On his hip, Jamal Alexander on what's been a record-shattering night for Damian Craig hey. and Donald Sellers. Yeah, that looks like, you know, Auburn against <laughs> Southwest Missouri State or something. You know that tune-up game that you get in the SEC? In September? Yeah. You know, Terry Bowden in there throwing a pass in the fourth quarter up 60. Sellers, what a clutch catch. Upfield at the 36-yard line in front of Michael Reed. Clutch catch by Sellers. 
gutsy throw by Craig as he got crunched. And here, they send the sink after him. They bring seven after Damian Craig here. But Sellers breaks off the pattern in front of Reed. You know, when they, when they send everybody after you now, the crunch is on. Nice little galaxy sandwich for him. They picked up 14. Craig, deep down the boundary again. Kevin Drake could not make the catch. Ball bounded away when he hit the ground. Kind of, kind of crazy what the Claymores are doing, I think. Now, they aired it out 520 yards past, and you're going to see the Blitz Alexander coming here along with Stride. They both come. Nice job by Reeder picking up the Blitz one-on-one -on -one with Drake. And it was a strike. It was right in Drake's hands, but a nice finish by Reed to strip him. Like you're saying, Brian, rather than run the ball, eat up the clock they are throwing. The blitz again. Clemens chasing Craig. Damien throwing deep for Bell, who makes the catch inside the 30-yard line. A gain of 46. Hey, they got here tonight by airing the ball out deep. And Damian Craig said, I'm going to keep throwing it deep. I don't care about the clock. This is the strength of Damian Craig and why he's valuable. It drives defensive lineman crazy. And finds the big tight end who has been able to locate all night. And Sean Bell's having some fun tonight. He said, you know, they forgot about me the last couple of weeks, but I'm valuable over the middle. Bell's going to have a 100-yard night receiving. In, in. Papa, three, 22. <laughs> three, 22. The heat's coming. Craig against it. Smart play by Damon to get rid of that football. I gave you that. Obviously not content with the record that he's already set tonight. <laughs> Put a little distance between that and anybody else that comes after him. Imagine that looking in the record book one day, Paul, and you see passing yards in the game, 600 yards. <laughs> Let me combine the first half of the season to get 600. Very close now. 570. Frankfurt blitzing on every down. Craig throws over the top, flags down. Perhaps did not get it off, and Kevin Drake just can't believe it. Would have been a touchdown, a waltz. Delay a game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. And this is a confident Damian Craig. I mean, they're playing keep away with the Galaxy by airing it out. And an exhausted Please defensive the line. Clock to 4 7 Asking the... Uh, Clock to be reset to 407. Thank you. And it is. Frankfurt desperate to get the football back, trailing by two touchdowns. Losing the ball. It's recovered by Frankfurt. Jamal Alexander on the blitz, alertly sees the ball on the ground. And the Galaxy and their fans are alive. The second turnover of the night for the Claymores. Damien looked like he might have pulled out early. Alexander never stopped coming. See that Craig had his eyes on his receiver. First things first, get the ball and then look at the receiver. And now DeLone, trailing by two TDs. Going for it all. He's got him. The catch is made by Andy McCullough. First and goal at the six-yard line. Unbelievable throw by DeLone. He's got his hands over the ears to hear the next play. And McCullough on a straight streak. Straight down the field in his zone, and Roska late picking him up. But great effort and concentration by McCullough to pull that in after he got hit. 48 yards, first and goal. 
Catch Marinsky, the running back. Got him. Todd Floyd, touchdown. Fourth touchdown catch of the night for the Galaxy. First for Floyd. Floyd, one of those receivers three weeks ago that went over 100 yards for the Galaxy. Gets this game tight and close. An important extra point for Kleinman. The Galaxy now within seven. This is a one possession football game. Floyd hauling it in for the score. This is just a double slant. Here's Floyd on the outside to take it in here. Scales also in here. Floyd gets inside of Denoris Mosley. Nice route. He faked him outside, came inside. And DeLome right on the money, right through the guard tackle gap. No hands in his face, clean. And the comeback is on. Remember now, Paul, three weeks ago this game, it was 35-28. And Scotland came back in the last minute to tie it up and send it into overtime. Here it is, 35-28, three weeks later. And this is kind of amazing here. I think these teams know each other a little bit. Five decisions by five points or less. Floyd. Hauling in the second Jake DeLone touchdown strike of the fourth quarter to mount this comeback. That took all of 49 seconds. The long completion of a color of 46 yards. Going for the onside here, Paul, and I don't agree with the call. I say you kick it. And it's recovered by the Claymores, and they will be deep in Frankfurt territory. You're saying kick it away and take your chances? About three minutes and 12 seconds, I say put your defense out there and make a stop. And if you do stop them down there, you got a shorter field to go than they'll have right now if they stop them. Dick Curl still has all three timeouts at his disposal. Ron Winter, our official. Offside, number 29 of the kicking team. The penalties decline. First down. So it's up to Gilliard and that defensive unit to get it back. And on the other side of the field, Damian Craig. All those yards don't really matter if the Claymores let this one get away. And the crowd are on their feet. This place is rocking right now. The Germans know football, and they know they're a score away. Let's cover it. Craig against it. Incomplete. Gilliard was shooting through in the backfield. Well, they're throwing the football because they've got no confidence in the running attack right now to be able to get yards on the ground. The one play that Damien has shown tonight where he can get outside and put pressure on the defense is the bootleg. Right, 322 Dragon! Uh, we don't have a timeout. He can't hear right here, Paul, because the crowd had to burn the timeout. And that's the home field advantage of the Galaxy. Hey, hey. Can you hear me now? My life Nobody could hear. My life Jim couldn't hear Vince Alcaldi upstairs. You got another battery? No, that's not the batteries, Jim. That's just the noise. You got another battery? Forced to burn that precious final timeout. Damian Craig, clearly, I cannot hear, and you can see why. Well, these fans have been at this ballpark today for seven hours. Four hours outside and what looked like a Grateful Dead convention. Then they get themselves ready for the game. Craig with a lot of time. Throws for Sellers. Who oh. makes the catch? 
and is into the end zone for a touchdown. A penalty marker is down. <laughs> this is Damian Craig and Donald Sellers' night. It appears to be defensive pass interference for the official who threw the flag, signal touchdown. And this place just went stone cold quiet. The band stopped playing. Pass interference, number 28 of the defense. Penalties declined. He's out of the play with a touchdown. Clarence Love flagged for pass interference, and it didn't matter. Donald Sellers with his third touchdown reception of the night. Wow. And I tell you what, you don't go to sleep, and you never stop working when Damian Craig is back there. And that's the advantage of an elusive quarterback that is a great athlete. It never gets shut down. Rob Hart again out of Kevin Drake's hole. Sellers begins to celebrate Damian Craig tonight. The massing yardage over 500, close to 600 yards passing. Now they come after him with the blitz in the middle, but they don't contain him on the outside. That's Jamal Alexander's job. Keep Craig in the pocket, but nice vision. I mean, this is probably the third or fourth read here for Craig. Sellers never quit on the play, and then nice body control. Clarence Love all over him, but nice control waiting on that football. Damian Craig, his fifth touchdown pass, now with more than 600 yards through the air. You saw Damian wagging that finger there. He's too tired to jump up and down. I mean, he's exhausted. And that arm, you know, it's, it's sort of like when that pitcher, David Cohn, goes out there to throw that, that nice game for the Yankees, they soak that arm in ice. Now, that's what Damian Craig needs to do with that golden trigger of his tonight. I think George Seifert, Charlotte, North Carolina, is thinking at the moment. Well, Gil Haskell, the offensive coordinator, runs the West Coast offense. Quick thinking, quick routes. Nice to have an athletic quarterback doing it. Kick it to Sean Scales. Has to pick it back up. Out of bounds, 22. Take a quick glance at the Playmore's schedule now. They will have four games remaining. This is the sixth week out of 10 in the regular season. And Barcelona came up there a couple weeks ago, and their undefeated season came to an end. So the Claymore's got to feel pretty good again, going against the Dragons. And then this back-to-back -back is always tough against the same team. Right, here's what we got to do. We got we to gotta run the football and run the time off the clock. <laughs> Brian now is going to decide to run the football. And rover it, okay? toss They've thrown enough of it tonight. Jake DeLome still with 245, which to work, trailing by two scores. He goes to Bailey. Mario Bailey's ninth reception of the evening for the Frankfurt Galaxy. The importance of this game for Dick Curl. Just four remaining, and you see he has to travel to face the Rheinfire in Dusseldorf next week. Yeah, he's got a Deutschland Derby game next week, and you know that's always full of fireworks, and the Rheinfire are getting hot. The long side-armed it. And it hit the turf. Ed McCullough coming back for it, unable to snare it off the grass. Over a thousand yards, the millennium tonight in combined yards. New NFL Europe high. And we said at the outset that this was the two best passing offenses in the league, and they didn't do anything to disappoint. Certainly hope you've enjoyed it. Set. Blue fire. Blue fire. Delone. Benjamin Dicklinger, his first catch of the year out of bounds in Scottish Claymore territory. The two minute warning. He throws. He has his third touchdown. And it's Mario Bailey. And 
the galaxy is still alive. Sure they are. It's a 60 minute game, Paul. These two played into overtime in the first meeting. Ralph Kleiman on. Try and pull him within seven. And it's good. 42 35, 124 remaining. Bailey one on one on the outside, working against Cliff Schamberger. Just a shortstop that bowls in the air before Schamberger even knew that Bailey turned around. The ball's in the air right now. Quickly in the air, and Bailey just had to adjust to it. What happened was DeLone was thrown into a spot, and it was up to Bailey to get to that spot. Now Mario Bailey tying Derek Clark, who scored earlier tonight. Only two men in the history of this league, Bowley with 20 touchdowns. Yeah, they're going back and forth. And, you know, I don't think Mario Bailey is done. Not if they can convert and get this onside kick that's coming their way. Bailey gets a shot at Gatorade. He gets a couple of quick breaths of oxygen. He may be right back out there. Jake DeLome has thrown three fourth quarter touchdown passes tonight to bring Frankfurt back in this game, and the onside kick is coming. Now, this kick is important. Kleiman is putting this ball on the tee, and what he wants to do is to be able to get a good bounce. Kleiman kicks. There's the bounce. He gets the big bounce. And it's fallen on by Frankfurt. Falls on the ball. The Galaxy has it. They're on 42. Talked about the big bounce. He got it. One, two. Now here's the big one. Now they go up and get it. Jimmy Clements alertly comes down with it as the ball's on the ground. Hello. Sacked back at the 36-yard line. Now they're trying to get McCullough, who's going to be their jump guy on the outside, 18. Timeout. Frankfurt. Lashinsky knocked that ball loose. A 30 second timeout. Everybody congratulates Clemens because you practice that every day and you never know what's going to happen because you don't know what's going to happen to the bounce. The timeout taken by the Frankfurt Galaxy, that leaves them with one. Well, they burned that timeout because the protection broke down. And if you're an offensive lineman right now, you're thinking, hey, listen up. just do my job. Just lock in, get my man, lock him out right, right now like it's just practice. Z choice. Give me a good corner, Andy. A swing. Jets, backside. Yeah. Blackjack right. 860 Z dig on one. Ready, Frank? Okay, Mario Bailey's going to be on the outside along with McCullough. McCullough's going to run to the corner. McCullough's coming here. That's going to be his first read. Delum throws again. Connecting upfield at the 47 to Bailey. In front of Elams. The clock runs. Remember we said Mario Bailey was on the sidelines after the touchdown catch. Trying to shout over his own crowd. Clear out, clear out. On quick, on quick. <laughs> Diving grab made top play at the 41 yard line. Half a minute to go. Gonna stop the clock here. Ah! He's gonna kill it if they can get set. Ah! Save the timeout. <laughs> seconds remaining in the game. 860 Jets H real. 860 Jets H real. Hurry up! 
They've got one timeout, Paul. They, can, they don't have to go to the end zone right now. They can go underneath here and still stop the clock. DeLong, deep. Elams intercepts the football. The Claymores have the ball, and they look to have a win on the road in Frankfurt. <laughs> 